guys, Real McCoy 411. Welcome back to my channel. I have just come back from a family reunion in East Texas. And when I tell you I had a very good time, a very good time, a very good time. I even posted some pictures on Instagram because, you know, I had to show y'all what I was eating and how I did my wash and go, which would, turned out bomb. So y'all have to head over to my Instagram and check that out. It's on the T-H-E Real McCoy 411 all together. The Real McCoy 411 on Instagram. You have to check it out. So, when I got back yesterday, I decided I need to moisturize my hair. I need to do my deep conditioning because it was Sunday. So, I did my deep conditioning. But you guys know how I feel about Hask products. Okay? Hask is the manufacturer, maker of the Biotin Boost shampoo that I'm always talking about that has really made my hair thrive and getting thicker and it is it's just a wonderful shampoo and I love it and it's gentle it doesn't have any sulfates or anything like that so you guys really need to check it that line out Hask but while I was in East Texas I found something that I haven't seen here in Arlington, Texas. But it is this. And it's Hask, as you can see. But it's this, and I have this leave-in conditioner. This is the deep conditioner. So I put this on my head uh, last night after I shampooed. And I did shampoo with my Hask. And this is the keratin protein. Because I, I was out in the heat a lot, and I knew my hair needed some tender loving care. So I shampooed with this, I deep conditioned with this, and just for a leave-in, I didn't use the hair spray leave-in because I was really just trying to replenish my moisture. So I went in with some Camille Rose, and this is the lavender, the whipped cream leave-in, and this just did, did the job. And I put these twist up. And I'm telling you guys, never judge a natural by this. Never judge a natural by seeing this. Because baby, what a natural can do. Woo, woo, woo. Woo, woo, woo. So, I'm going to be going in. And I'm just going to moisture. I'm really just moisturizing and keeping it moisturized. I'm going to let my curls hang. And I'm, I'm sorry, I'm adjusting the nozzle. But I'm going to be using some warm water. And if you can see, it's a little cloudy. And it's only cloudy because it's aloe vera juice, warm water. And I've mixed in a little more of this. So I always put in a little leave-in conditioner, aloe vera juice. You know, you do your thing. So we're going to be doing the LCO method, LCO liquid and leave-ins which is which is already in but a little leave-in in here the cream i'm going to be using is the african pride moisture miracle and this is the curling cream okay that thick consistency but creamy so it's only going to take a little of this okay it's not going to take much so it's only going to take a little of this and for my oil just my regular grapeseed oil that I keep in here. That's it. So LCO method is what we're going to be doing. I'm going to start chackling, chackling, cackling. And I'm going to say this before I speed up the video. If you are new here, go ahead and subscribe. Click on the notification bell. Um, I put out natural quality content videos educational for both your you and me me and you so this is a, a natural hair journey that you can learn from while i'm learning and while i'm becoming a naturalist so i really would like you guys to be a part of our family okay any comments guys if you're already a subscriber you already know i love you if y'all have any comments um any suggestions any constructive criticism 
just put it down in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to read y'all. I'll see y'all. Speeding it up.
that's it. That is the LCO method. That's what I was forgetting to talk about. The LCO method is good for me because I have low porosity hair, which means it's hard for my hair to retain moisture. But once I get the moisture in, then the moisture stays until I wash it out, okay? That's why I use the warm water. I use the warm water because the warm water opens up the cuticles on your strands of hair. And that way, all the moisture can get in. And the number one moisturizer, the best moisture for your hair is water. So you start it off with that. So your strands are open, you put a cream on, and the cream is in there, so that's moisture. And I use the oil, the grapeseed oil, to seal all the moisture in. And that is it. I am done. I went and did a little something to my face. And thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like the way it turned out. It's just a very simple moisturizing. Um, I'm not even going to say a wash and go. Just a moisturizing technique that using the LCO method to get that that moisture that your hair needs in. And every hair needs moisture. So when, especially in the summertime. So you can over moisturize. When I first started, I had a couple of videos about that because I did a moisture overload and I wasn't aware of what I was doing, but I did a moisture overload so I know now not too much moisture, too much moisture can give you a moisture overload. Your hair will just be like very, very soft to the point where you can't really do anything with it. So, but I was saved by using that particular product. So I'll go ahead and link that video up here so you guys can see how I saved my hair when I had a moisture overload. So I hope you guys enjoy this moisturizing video for the summertime. Um, if you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe once again. You guys continue to keep God first in everything that you do. And I do mean everything. Uh, you have, I have arrived at my purpose and I believe that wholeheartedly. So from here, I believe God is just about to do some amazing things in my life. He's about to blow my mind. And I want to make sure I keep my YouTube and Instagram family with me so that you all can see the miracles and the blessings that are about to be bestowed on me because I believe. I believe it's going to be bestowed on me and my family because I believe and I have faith. So, oh, look, I believe in miracles. Y'all know Kelly. <laughs> So you guys have a blessed day. Keep God first once again. And I will see you in the next video.